everyone, welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty. You can give me a follow on Twitter at Minty Betts. And joining me today is Brian Leonard at B Leonard Sports on Twitter and Adam Burke from bangthebook.com at Skating Tripods on Twitter. Uh, this video, we're going to talk about the regular season win total for the Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, set at 83 and a half. I think the offense is pretty solid here, but I, I don't know. This is like a tricky total because the, the total the last two seasons have been floating around the 80s. So I don't know how I feel about this one. Adam, what do you think? I think this has potential to be the best defensive team in Major League Baseball. Okay. And I think that, you know, defensive prowess is not accounted for when it comes to the season win total market. There mm -hmm. is a lot of focus on offense, right. a lot of focus on starting pitching. But this is a team that is so good defensively, it's going to elevate the pitching staff that they have. Now they add in Madison Bumgarner. They added Zach Gallon at the trade deadline last year, who I absolutely love. In fact, I think as a Cy Young really long shot, a guy that I do like. He's got the strikeout totals. He's got this very good defense behind him. The offense doesn't have to be great. Mm -hmm. You know, when we talk about teams that get into the mid 80s, stuff like that, the offenses don't have to be great if the pitching staff and the team defense are pretty good. Uh -huh. The bullpen is a little bit iffy for Arizona. That would be my concern with this team. But again, I just think that there's, there's a lot of surplus value on this team with guys that aren't big names, that aren't respected as much as other players maybe. And I think that that leads to some value out there Getting a guy like Starling Marte is a big help. Mm -hmm. Very good defensive center fielder. I think that this is clearly, to me, the second best team, probably the second most consistent team in the National League West. Right. Oh, yikes. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I like this team, too. We talked about the defense. Going up the middle, they always say you want to be really strong up the middle. Uh, shortstop, second base, center field. I, don't, I can't think of anybody that's going to be better defensively than this team right here. Um, Gar Madison Gar Garner, he's... He's going to be a veteran presence. I'm just not as high on him at this age. And we've just found out that he's a rodeo fan and he was <laughs> doing some things in the rodeo. I don't know, but that can't be healthy. Um, but uh, yeah, you take a look at this team and you talk about uh, Zach Gallen. The only pr concern I would have is he, what he had, 170 combined innings last year. Uh, he's going to have to be like 220 or something this year to be considered, I think. And right now they're, they're talking, he's fighting. He's fighting for the number five yeah. mm -hmm. uh, spot. He's probably the, going to end up the season the race of, of the staff. Right. That's a concern. I just don't know if he's going to get enough innings, but I, but I love him. I think he's a, he's a great player. And uh, they don't have big-name players going around the entire right. diamond, but they've got guys that are plus better than average in just about every single position. Um, you know, the first baseman last year had a really solid year. He came out of nowhere. Uh, the center fielder is now being brought into second base, mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to strengthen the infield. I like the players they have. They do have some guys that have had some injury problems in the past. That's always a concern, but, you know, living in Las Vegas, Arizona is the closest major league ballpark we have to them, yeah. to us. So I follow Arizona pretty well out here, and I've gone to spring training every year just about. So I know a lot about Arizona, and you know the Dodgers are the Dodgers. The Dodgers are going to win this division. Yeah. The Dodgers have the money to be able to buy players. Arizona's not going to win the division, but I think San Francisco's a bad baseball team. Right. I think the Padres are overrated. They've got tied up too much money in big-name players, and they just don't have the depth. Uh, the Padres have good pitching in the minors. I just don't think it's there yet. Um, so for me, from a value standpoint in the National League, I think – we talked about a team on the other video, but I think Arizona is a team that really has some value. And he talked about um, the defense being overlooked. All you got to do is take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays. Every single year, the Rays are competitive. The Rays, they don't spend a lot of money on that team. No. Uh, and Arizona is doing it just like Tampa Bay. I like this team. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. $9 Monday at wagertalk.com and sportsmemo.com. All daily packages for Monday's action are only $9, including any 5% best bets normally priced at $40.